In limbo right now is the Alex Smith Emergency Insulin Act, which would create a statewide assistance program for people who can't get that life-saving drug. People with type 1 diabetes and parents of children who depend on the drug are making a final push at the Capitol, explaining the skyrocketing out-of-pocket costs for insulin. I paid almost $600 for two vials to then cross the border at Fort Francis in International Falls and pick up those same two vials for $60. In January, I had to make 15 phone calls over an 11-day period in order to just to refill my daughter's insulin. The House bill would provide a 90-day emergency supply of insulin for people, while the Senate version would limit that to 30 days. It's up to a conference committee to resolve those differences.